Welcome to Friday, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. Make sure you set it to 60 frames a second, or you can't watch it. That's what Atari says. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome, Tanya's here, I, I am here, and we're going to play Atari's some games. Here. Atari's here. Woo, he's excited. And Pixel's in the hallway. Yeah. He's chasing some springs right now. Welcome to Friday night, Friday night gaming on zero page and uh tanya is here because darcy is not here you might have noticed <laughs> it doesn't look like darcy no, doesn't sound like darcy no, unfortunately <laughs> he had a little well well it, it the weather here is is a little crazy right now yeah <clears throat> there's snow on the ground outside first of the season mm -hmm. and uh darcy lives on vancouver island and we live in vancouver so to get from there to here and you've already spilled. I know, I didn't even have a sip yet. <laughs> <laughs> to get from there to here, you have to take a ferry. Yeah. And all the ferries from the island to the mainland were cancelled mm -hmm. due to wind. It's not windy here. Was no, windy which is funny. Driving? No, it didn't seem windy at all. And it was mainly just rain and slush and snow, mm. which is its own issue. But that's not actually why they cancelled the ferries. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, bye. And uh, <laughs> so he couldn't make it here. It's usually six and a half hours earlier than now. Mm -hmm. And we just uh, just bumped it ahead so we could still play the games for all of you. I was, I was, uh, you know, available. Uh, I was available. I was at work for the morning. So uh, yeah. I got a random text and he said, oh, you want to play games tonight? And I said, yes, yes, yeah. I do. So we're going to be playing five games tonight. Ooh, that's a lot of games. Last episode, we played two games, mm. but they were huge make up. Make games. Make up for them, yeah. No, those yep. are huge games. Okay. These are smaller games. Okay, cool. So you have to, you know, balance out the show so mm -hmm. you don't have five huge games or two small games. That's true. <clears throat> so we're going to be playing Mr. Yo-Yo, Beer Pong, George 2007, George 2019. Okay. And one versus one baseball. One versus one baseball. Okay, yes. interesting. Okay. And, um... Four of these games are made by two people. Mm. So two of these games are made by one person, and the other two are made by another person. And it's very coincidental, actually. <laughs> I didn't even plan it that way. It mm. just happened to uh, work that way. Mm. So I want to thank everybody in the chat and all the Twitch subscribers. Mm -hmm. Twitch subscribers, uh, Capitan Classic. It's actually spelled like that, Capitan. Nice. Uh, Coconut81, Gretem's Ground Trooper, I supposed to Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco2600, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless VG, Six Sweet, <laughs> Sir Cat Legs, Spartan581, S. Ramirez2008, The D Train37, The Welshman89, Tiki Dan K, and Zach Scalero. I want to thank everybody in the chat. Actually, you can support the show which uh, with and get your name on that list uh, for free. If you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe, it's just free. If you have Amazon Prime, you get one free uh, subscribe to Twitch. And why not give it to your favorite show? <laughs> Zero, page Zero Homebrew. Page homebrew. <laughs> That's what somebody said last time. It was their favorite streaming Atari show. Lovely. You know, there's a lot of them. There's a lot. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> there's not. There's not. I don't. I don't think there are any other ones streaming. There's there's ones that well, are on YouTube that play games. And, yeah, and yeah. and no, do like true. reviews of games. And, and as you say, there there are uh, Twitch streamers who play the odd sort of retro game, one, yeah. but it's not necessarily the focus of the show. So. Did you bring a, swear, a spring to us? Oh, go get it. Oh, it didn't go out the door. Um, and uh, so the people in the chat: Dan AVC, Mick Muse, Arena Foot. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know I supposed is there and he just resubscribed and he's at a year, 12 months. Thank wow. you very much That's for exciting. that subscription. I hope you get something really fancy through Twitch. Do you? Do you, you get, get exciting you things? You get a symbol. Okay. That, I, that I've made. Nice. So you get it upgraded. You get an upgrade, okay. Yeah, and uh, that's, that's the only people that are chatting right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chad's Perch, General Jughead, just in time. Yeah. <laughs> Chad's Perch, new name, General Jughead, maybe you've heard your name before. Mm -hmm. But thank you, welcome to the show. Mm -hmm. um, and make sure you follow, subscribe, and click on all the things. Mm -hmm. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, we're on all of them. Zero page homebrew, no spaces. Mm -hmm. And Cafe Man 2D, just Yay. in time. So let's get on to the mail news and feedback. Mm -hmm. Darcy canceled. Yeah, did yeah. that. No fairies. <laughs> feedback, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> feedback for that? No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yep. Just found your channel. Oh, welcome, Chats Perch. New, new, new. 
not even just a lurker yeah he's brand new nice. um d train messaged me after the last show we were discussing all the games that champ games had put out or are planning to put out okay and he made a very detailed list of them which is very helpful i had to leave when you guys were talking about champ games so i don't know if this duplicates the list you have but this is my list of champ games based on the little drips and draps that john releases now and then completed and published ladybug conquest of mars mappy super cobra scramble wizard of war and galagon those are like sold in boxes mm -hmm. done completed out there mm -hmm. um plan for release avalanche zookeeper lunar lander gorf arcade the only one out of those that doesn't have a demo or a working thing is Gorf Arcade. Gorf Arcade's yeah. new, right? That's, yeah. That's what they're Well, he's got something. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Zookeeper first. That's almost done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gorf Arcade is next. He hasn't shown any video. He's posted screenshots, which look pretty much done. He's so fast. Mm -hmm. um, and Kernels or Proof of Concept. Champ Sports Hockey, which is just a screenshot. Archon, which is just a screenshot. He sent me a screenshot good <laughs> looks good a uh, ripoff which is just a proof of concept but it's like you can download and play it moon cresta i don't know how far he's along with that cosmic avenger uh that is uh i don't know how far he's along with that either i have, don't I haven't looked into that one requires bus stuffing elevator action that is playable um but it's only so far others mentioned satan's hollow food fight both of which were done proof of concept by I supposed to, I believe, both mm -hmm. of them. And they're very, Saint very good. Zola. Yeah, Saint Zola. Zola. And Mountain Raider, mm -hmm. which uh, we talked about on the last show. Um, and he said, in the not-too-distant future, John will have been the lead programmer on 20 games. Wow. Which is nuts. If he cool. does a full slate of champ sports, it could be even higher. Mm -hmm. John said that he's, when, he, when he's working on stuff, he can create a kernel in a few days. So even when he's only got a 5% done... He's never far from having something mm -hmm. playable. That's very cool. And he also added that if he gets up to 20 releases, he'll be the third largest, dis, um, I guess, production house of Atari games. Nice. Ever. Ever. <laughs> and ever? very, very po Ever. Oh, wow, that's Yeah, hilarious. it's like yeah. Atari and then Activision and then <laughs> Imagic, I mm. believe. Yeah. Mm. I think he'd be tied for third or tied for fourth. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, John posted, he added to that list after that comment, he said, I have a very old proof of concept for baseball. Actually, it's one of the first things I tried way back in 2001 when first learning 6502. I love baseball too. So it's a champ sports. Baseball is definitely a possibility. So there's even one more added to that. Um, and this came in the mail today uh game link or cam link cam, cam link 4k um so this will be used for connecting the laptop up when we're doing the atari awards for the call-ins and it'll nice. make everything a lot even easier. better than last yeah. year and a lot easier <laughs> yeah excellent so i'm excited about that unleash your camera and this also can be used i think i told you for um regular cameras to pretend to be webcams oh so you can make like your your actual camera like it a webcam. interprets it as a webcam and really one of the very few that actually does that that's very cool yeah so you could use a much better quality camera yeah you and could run use it a right into your broadcast camera computer. like that's, a that's hundred really... thousand dollar camera as yeah. your webcam if it has an hdmi out yeah. which they would at some level mm -hmm. and um this came the other day um for ps2 taito legends and the reason i bought this is because on it it has Zookeeper. Mm. And it, I believe, is the only, one of the only places outside the arcade you can play. I mean, you can play Zookeeper. it on MAME as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on a console. On a console. Oh, that's It's not neat. a port. It's an actual arcade emulation of it. Okay. So it's an easy way to play um, Zookeeper. It has a lot of other great games, too. It has Bubble Bobble, mm -hmm. Elevator Action, mm. Phoenix, which I like as well uh new zealand story which is awesome rainbow islands which is awesome too um and rastan which is good too yeah those are all the arcade arcade ones yeah so lots of fun mm -hmm. and so i can practice and look at zookeeper there mm. and then compare it to john's and be able to say oh it's like this the, in the like arcade what it looks like yeah i mean yeah. i can play it on mame too but yeah um 
So, the 2019 Atari Homebrew Awards are coming up. Yes. Very soon. Yep. It is, what, the 10th today? So, 21 more days? So, yep. three weeks. Yep. Three weeks until the uh, Atari Awards. Mm -hmm. um, the nominations are pouring in. They're almost done because tomorrow is the cutoff. I actually added an extra day for them. Okay. <clears throat> oh, cool. So, those will all be coming in. Then I'll be adding them up and I'll be getting the top 10 of every category. Of every category. And then on the 18th is when I release it to the public and they, you guys can vote on it mm -hmm. and pick your favorite homebrew of the year. How long do they have? Two weeks from the 18th? Uh, a week and a half. Because a week I, and a half. Because I have to have some time to actually <laughs> to process to, yeah, yeah, the yeah, winners. Yeah. Fair, fair, fair. Because I have to make videos. Yeah. Oh, Cafe Man 2D just subscribed. Thank you very much. Awesome. It's up to you. two months now. Excellent, uh -huh. excellent. Yes, Arena Foot sent in his votes. Nice. Thank you very much. Um, the intro for the uh, Atari Awards is almost done. I was working on it today. Yeah. I like it. It's looking pretty good. It's about 30 seconds long, 30 to 45 seconds long. It's fun. It's fun. Um, the background is background's <laughs> chosen for us because we have a green screen, just mm. like last year. So I picked a new background. Yeah. Are we going to be moving? Is we won't be moving. The, the background, background will moves. be moving very slowly. Gotcha. Most of them are very fast. The ones I could download for yeah, free. Yeah, but then then, then the like, foreground whoa. looks like it's moving. Yeah, it gets a little. little It'll wonky make everyone dizzy. At. Yeah, you don't need. So to you have to make it nice and slow. Yes. <laughs> um, it seemed to go away now. No, you have your. <laughs> oh, your subscription. Yeah, you have to keep on top of it. I don't know if it reminds you. Red carpet interviews prior to the show. It'll be during the show. <laughs> uh, the phone ins. So. And the red carpet interviews. We don't have what a red are you carpet. wearing tonight? That's right. Uh, yeah. A t shirt <laughs> um, with a video game on it. Yeah. Um, and I've got the awards in the closet. So yeah. those are ready. I have to print out the, um, nice. the certificates, but I can't do that till the winners. I know the winners, okay, but I'll enough, be doing that. Enough, yeah. And um, then I have to do the category videos as well. So I can say these are well, the nominated games. Yeah, that's a fair amount of work. Um, in the fact that I have to record like 15 seconds of well, each game. Well, each game, yeah. So yeah. there's nine, ten categories of each. Um, but some games will be duplicated. So I only have to record one once for a lot of them. But cool. Um, yeah, so things are coming along with the award show. I'm very excited and it's all coming together nicely. Mm -hmm. Not in a panic too much anymore. Yeah. I'm ahead of the game now. Mm -hmm. Um, so let's go on to our first game, which is Mr. Yo-Yo. Mr. Yo-Yo. It's by Dave M. Mm -hmm. 2020 Work in Progress. Um, so I'll hand you controller. Ooh, so heavy. Bye, cat. It is heavy. It is very heavy. Uh, so let's load that up over on the screen. Goodbye, chat. Hello, Stella. And uh, this is his first game that he's ever made. And it's a pretty interesting concept. Uh, there we go. Oh, do I not have screen capture going? Uh oh, what's going on? Uh, what? what is going on? <laughs> no, 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 no. What's happening? I can't capture that screen. It's not in the list. Why is it not in the list? That's funny. I turned on the TV before I started OBS Studio, but apparently it's not there. It's not detecting The it? solution to that is... Hmm. Shutting down, <laughs> shutting down the stream and starting it again. It's not going to detect it any other way? Maybe. Let me turn off the amplifier and turn it back on. And Because I don't want to cut off the stream. It won't be too bad. I'll just tell people to come back. But we'll see if this kicks it into gear. That'll Hopefully. Nice. We're still streaming. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't do anything. Nope. Still no good? Still no good. Oh, so, no. everybody that's watching uh, live, 10 categories with 10 nominees each. Yes, that's what it is. Um, so, everybody that's watching live, um, we're going to drop out for a couple seconds. If we don't come back, hit play, hit reload, refresh. Mm. Um, maybe it'll automatically start playing again. Hopefully. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll be right back too. Yeah. Arena <laughs> Foot. Um, 
So it'll only be like 10 seconds. So um, be right back. Fingers crossed. And we're back. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you guys are back too. Um, so it is displaying now, thankfully. So I'll wait for a couple seconds until some people say you're back. Just uh, type back, back, back. Technical difficulties. Yeah. We're fixing it, we think. Yeah, exactly. Um, we back. Excellent. Arena Foot's back. Excellent. So everybody else should be back. Front, Dan, excellent. Okay, so let's go to the game now. That's enough time for everybody to go. And everyone's left. No one's... Everyone oh. left. Why is this over here? Oh. Is this the game? Let's fix this up. Please stand by. <laughs> no, it's going over there. Oh, I think I have to stop that. You're being start weird. That again. It's because of multiple screens and blah blah blah. <laughs> Technology. Yeah, you can't perfect. see what's happening, but I have to yeah. do things in a very specific order. There, there we, we go. go. So there is Mr. Yo-Yo. Nice. I think it had a title screen though, didn't it? No? Oh, it just start. goes right to that. Yeah, he hasn't done a title screen. Okay. Oh, we are lagging. One second. Ignore our voices that are not synced up. I know I'm sure somebody's complained about that already. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we're proper voice sync. Thank you. Yeah. I supposed to. <laughs> and we should be good because OBS is broken for that. Mm. Okay. So let's... You should be able to press the button. So you can play around with that while I read. See if you can figure it out. This is my di by Dave M. I'm sure his name's Dave and his last name is M. Don't know his real name. Uh, first posted September 15th, 2019. So that's what he's um, been working on it since then. It's a 4K game. It's the only game he's made. It's his first game. Uh, you can download this in the Atari Age forums. Hi everyone. I'm starting to work on my first homebrew and running into some issues. So I'm hoping somebody could assist. I did a number of hacks a few years ago. I think Fat Albert is the most well-known. Uh, yeah, we played that, actually. But I got away from doing those, and I'm diving back in to learn how to make my own games. I've programmed Visual Basic, Vis uh, VBA? I'm not sure what VBA is. Visual Basic Atari? No. Uh, slash Net for quite a few years. Been done doing some games in those languages, but I've never learned any sort of assembly before. Is there no sound? Is there sound? I don't think... Looks like there should be sound. Well, maybe there isn't sound for this yet. Maybe I don't think he's done sound yet. Um, I purchased Steve Hugg's book, so I got about two-thirds way through before my brain fry. I don't know Steve Hugg's book. Uh, I thought I'd get a start... Oh, maybe it's just about assembly. I thought I'd get a start on writing the game and use what I learned up to that point, then get back to the book later. So a little bit about my game idea. Then I'll describe the problems I'm having. I... I had an idea to create a game where the button controlled the movement and the joystick controlled the firing mechanism. Basically the opposite of what most games, Atari games are. So the idea that you control a yo-yo. You push the button and the yo-yo moves down. Release the button, he zips back up his string. Push the joystick left and right and he'll fire his laser gun left and right. The object will be to send all the way to the bottom of the screen, a laser gun. pick up the object and bring it to the top of the screen. Repeat this a certain number of times to clear the level. Meanwhile, enemies will enter from the sides, moving horizontally, similar to turmoil. Some enemies will only hurt you if they hit the yo-yo itself. Mm. Others will cut your string. Mm. If they pass above you, requiring you to zip back up either to blast them or get above them before they reach your string. Occasionally, bonus objects may fly up from the sides. You can collect them for points or power-ups. That's the basics of it. Sort of a cross between turmoil and freeway. Yeah, very... Uh, Oh no, that was VBS script derp. Glad it's been so long and forgot the details. Still have nightmares though. Oh, Visual Basic for applications. Oh, MS pro Office products use it. Ah. Need to restart? Maybe. There you go. Um, and then he talks about uh, issues he's having, but he's not having any longer because that was his first post. So let's get to the instructions, the detailed instructions. So you got a little bit of hang of it. Mm -hmm. You collect notes. What, what is another game where you have to shoot something in order to make something appear? And then you have to go collect it. 
there's another game I play all the time that you have to do that. You have to shoot something and then go get something. Uh, so this is a big update. Here's the full, first fully playable demo. No audio yet. There we go. But the rest of the game is complete and seems to be working okay. Feel free to download it, play it, and let me know what you think. By all means, if you find an error or something seems wrong, let me know. I've attached the code as well and appreciate any feedback anyone might be willing to give. I've used up just about every byte of the initial 4K, so most likely I'll have to expand to 8K to get the audio in. Um, having the alternate frames to get all the enemies on screen at once, I've tried other methods, but this is the only one I could get to work, which he shouldn't have to do, because there's maximum only one, only two things per line. Like he's got you, like the yo-yo and the enemy. So I'm sure somebody will be able to help him out with that. Oh, money. Uh, anyone has any suggestions, show me how, show me how I could improve it improve it, I'll greatly appreciate it, to try to minimize flicker. I've reduced the number of enemy lanes from five to four, then I split the player's zero duties between the yo-yo, the enemy in the top lane, and the little musical notes, the guys you're trying to save. So basically, the more things that he has on the screen, the more flicker there is. Um, he's not using player... He's, oh, the player one object is used for the enemies in the bottom three lanes. So he really shouldn't have to do that. Demons to Diamonds. Oh, I haven't played that game. Very, very briefly. Uh, the backstory. Here's how to play and the story. The backstory, as far as I've gotten so far, one evening all the toys in Toyland were throwing a party. But they were playing their music a little too loud. That annoyed the monsters in the nearby caves of Blah, who prefer silence and boredom. So they crashed the party, kidnapped all the musical notes, hiding them in the deepest portion of the caves. Since Mr. Yo-Yo is the only toy with string long enough to descend to the bottom of the caves, it's up to him to rescue the note Notalies, uh, so the party can start back up again. Game controls. Using the left joystick, press the button to descend. Release the button to ascend. Push the joystick left, uh, right and left to fire your lasers. You can hold the joystick right or left for continuous fire. Console controls. A new game starts up immediately. Uh, starts immediately upon startup. Use the reset switch to start a new game. Naughty, naughty. Use the button. Uh, the left dif difficulty switch controls the yo-yo speed. Set it to B position for normal speed, which is you're on, and A position for slow speed. I don't know if you want it any slower. Mm. Uh, the right difficulty controls your laser speed. B for normal speed, A for slow speed, which I don't know why you'd want slower lasers. Mm -hmm. For more of a challenge, I guess. Uh, the game select and black and white switches are not used. The cat is very, very interested in this game, by uh, the way. As long as he you doesn't can attack see him, it. You can see him in the... Oh, you can. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. You can see him looking at the TV. More like looking at the webcam. Looks like he's looking up at you guys. The object of the game is to rescue the note leaves from the bottom of the screen and return them to the top of the, the screen. note leaves. When a note leaf is ready to be rescued, he'll appear in the bucket at the bottom of the screen. To pick him up to send all the way to the bottom of your screen, Mr. Yo-Yo will start flashing colors once you've picked him up. To release the note lead to freedom, return to the top of your string. Mr. Yo-Yo will return to his normal color, and the note lead will dance off the screen. Each time you rescue a note lead, you will receive between 200 and 3200 points. And the green marker on the progress bar, which is on the left, mm -hmm. will move to the right. When it gets all the way to the right of the progress bar, the round is complete. And you receive bonus points for the time remaining. Mm. The time remaining is marked by the red marker on the timer bar. On the right. uh, it starts at the right and slowly ticks down to the left. If it reaches the left end of the timer bar, you'll continue with the round. However, you can no longer score any points. You can also become ineligible to complete in, compete in the bonus round that usually follows an orange cave. Each level has four caves, blue, purple, green, and orange. Completing all four before the respective timers expires it earns you a bonus shot, a shot at the bonus cave. Mm. So you're on the second level, with which, which is purple. How far did you make it? Do you remember? Probably not. Um, in the blue caves, the note leaves appear immediately. Mm -hmm. You must rescue five before the time runs out. In the purple caves, note leaves appear after you shoot one enemy or collect a coin. You probably figured that out yeah. by now. Uh, in the green caves, note leaves appear after you shoot two enemies or collect one coin. So you want to go after the coins. If yeah, you can. It's, it's, they're pretty fast. Um, yeah. In the orange caves, note leaves appear after you shoot three enemies or collect one coin. You must rescue eight before the timer runs out. Uh, McMew says, looks very unique. Uh, I have never seen a game like oh. this before. It is very unique. 
I mean, um, he's planned it out well for the 2600 because he's done the vertical only one, two things at a time vertically. So this game can be made. Ooh, that guy's mad. Mm. I think you have to shoot him. Oh, yeah, yeah, because he, he, doesn't he go won't away. go past you. He won't go past your string. Interesting. Um, so, yeah, you have to rescue more notes. You're in the green one now, so this is the third. No, I'm dead. I'm oh, dead. you're dead. Okay. I'll give <laughs> you one more. One. Yeah, you have to rescue eight in the fourth cave. In this one, you have to only rescue uh, <laughs> five. Yeah. The bonus caves have flashing walls and nothing but square targets fly around. The object is to shoot 10 targets before the timer expires. If you're successful, a bonus gem will appear in the bucket at the bottom of the screen. Collect it and return to the top before the timer runs out and you'll earn 9,900 points and an extra life. So now on to the enemies. The gray blob, which look like ghosts to me. Like yeah, Pac I, I, I think Pac-Man ghosts too. Yeah, that was my thought. Uh, this uh, guy's new since last update. I needed a slow, generic blob of an enemy, and he's mm. it. Nothing special about him. Shoot him for 100 points. Mm. Purple flapper, which is right out of mule. There's something called a purple flapper. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, moves up and down a bit and moves faster than the blob. That would be an incredible programming challenge for the 2600 is to make mule. Um, and making it with the four player quad tari adapter would be like the ultimate in a four player game so get on it somebody um <laughs> oh. because looking at um say something like penultima penultimate penultimate yeah um where he's got the tile done um you could pretty much do the game using that kind of engine but of course you have four players at once it reminds me of Turmoil with a twist. Yeah, in Turmoil, you move up and down rather than you can move, stay in a spot. Oh, gotcha. This one, you can't stay in a spot. You can stay in the top mm -hmm. or stay in the bottom. Yeah, penult. Um, yeah, I think using like the penult engine, you could possibly do mule. I'd have to look at mule again and, and see what it is and how big. You'd have to probably reduce the grid size a bit because mule is pretty big. It's probably like 16 by 16 at least like 12 by 12. um where was i on blue blue bouncer he bounces off the edge of the screen and off your string reversing direction speeding up each time get rid of him as quick as you can that guy is te really tough can you reset <laughs> oh you made it further this time no, no. <laughs> green you haven't made it to no. orange yet have you no i'm playing with the green the stunner if he touches your string he'll stun you for two seconds Ooh. that's not good and red snipper. I think he's only in the orange. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen either of those yet, so I haven't mm. gone that far. You'll encounter him later in the game. If he comes in contact with your string, he'll snip it, costing you a life. Shoot him or quit or get him above it quickly. Hopefully the uh, red snipper is slow moving because you would have to make your way to him and shoot him before he makes it halfway across the screen. Well, you have screen. to get back up, yeah, yeah, if you see one. Hopefully they're and not if, too frequent. <laughs> and, and hopefully nobody's in your way, too. Mule is usually at the top of many Atari 800 best games list, so a 2600 version would have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it. Uh, there's a lot going on in Mule. I mean, the um, part where you're bidding and selling and buying, that'd be easy for 2600. It's the main screen, so if somebody could make a kernel for the main screen, I think that would be... The hardest part and beyond that it would be fine um if any enemy comes in contact with yo-yo use a life i try to be forgiving with the collision detection here so you really have to get hit before it get uh it registers so it looks like you pass through an enemy that's why uh the game is supposed to ignore those little brushes actually he probably uses um he would use software detection because he can't use hardware detection because he's using the same sprite for you and the top two or the top one yeah oh my goodness very bad oh, very bad i'm trying you... to i'm trying to control the yo-yo in between the enemies and i'm not being very successful okay okay so right you, you you should give it a try yeah yeah you'll probably be better i did much oh, better yeah. the one one of the fir one of the rounds i got over seven thousand. so but I, i'm playing a little bit oh sorry I will, I will start reading when, when my... Um... No, stop stitching. 
<laughs> my, my urge to sneeze passes. Oh. Give me one quick second. Oh, no problem. I'm playing. I forget where we were. Second round. Okay, this game was supposed to ignore those little brushes and only count when the enemies hit a large bulk of your yo-yo. You start the game with four lives, one in play, and another three in reserve. There is no <laughs> limit to the number of lives you can have in reserve. Well, I guess technically 255 would be the <laughs> limit. Even though the lives indicator only shows up to nine. Anything more than that, and the lives indicator will show who knows what. So you need to get more than nine lives, because we need to figure out what happens. Okay. Uh, coins are worth 100 points if you shoot them, or 1,000 points if you collect them. Collecting a coin also doubles the points rescuing no oh. noties yeah. are worth. Are worth. Noties? No, no, not there's no L. Oh, the noties. I swear it was noties no, before. No, it's noties. <laughs> uh, collecting a coin also doubles the points rescuing noties are worth. So if you actually collect it, then you get more for all the notes. So you want to try and collect them, but that's fairly challenging. Actually, shooting them is challenging, then challenging too. Yeah. Oh my God. These purple guys fly fast. Um, the value for rescuing a notely starts at 200 points. It doubles with each notely coin you notey. collect. No, no, notely. This one said noties. Yeah, he needs to. And then he said, no, no, Damn it's it. multiple noties, a single notely. <laughs> oh. So. He's got the. Yeah. World so the Bible value of it. rescuing a notely starts, but it's terrible. It, it should be notelies, probably not note. Anyway, I'm not going to. One notey, multiple notelies. Yeah. <laughs> No, one notely, multiple notees. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, I digress. It doubles. <laughs> the value for rescuing a notee, notely starts at 200 <laughs> points. Now I'm going to get it wrong every time I read it. It doubles with each coin you collect oh up God. to 3,200 nope. points. Did you reset? Yep. Oh, you're terrible. Oh, my God. Dying right <laughs> out. You can't die in the first level. No, you can't. Um, <laughs> like I did many, Those many times. Those purple guys are just so, so fast. Yeah. And that's not even the hardest but enemy. But the first level, all you need to do is collect the notes. Yeah. So you, you just avoid and collect the notes. You don't have to shoot them. Uh, it prevents things from getting you if they're close to you, if you if you shoot them. Why not yeah, shoot? Well, you can hold, and you get points. You can hold it to continually shoot, which, yeah. is, which is a fair a fair tactic for very, sure. Very nice, actually. Yeah. Uh, this ah! You're very animated. <laughs> mm. It's annoying. This is this is frustrating you more than I thought it would. Um, because it's such a simple concept, <laughs> but it's challenging. Okay. The square targets in the bonus round Shoot are... it! <laughs> Sorry. Ignore me. Ignore my shouting. <laughs> Fine, I don't have to read this. No, um, no, no. no the square tar the square tar targets in the bonus round are worth five hundred points each. Running into them <laughs> simply removes them from play. Um, shoot down ten in a round and then rescue the bonus gem for nine thousand nine hundred points in a free life. This is currently the only way to get a free life, so you need to get the gem. So square targets in the bonus. Oh, so it's just the bonus round. Yeah. Gotcha. What's left to be done? Music. Sounds. Well, audio. <laughs> I'd also like to add a title screen and a game select screen. Right. I'd like the player to select the starting difficulty level. There's nine difficulty levels with four caves each, plus bonus caves. I wanted to have the action speed up in the later levels, but I ran out of room to add that Damn in, it. so that may go in later. So the action speed doesn't go up in later levels right now. It's oh. just the same over and over, I guess. That just, just blue guy. you're repeating through the caves with the harder and harder... Um, sprites and things to kill right i may also add a two-player option but i'm not set on that i think you should add a two-player option i think that would actually be pretty fun it would be like yo-yos beside each other yeah can you shoot each other that oh. would be that would be really really fun um there's also a few other animations i'd like to add including displaying the number of points you earn with each rescue so that's about it so far hope you enjoy it let me know what you think those blue guys are just Atari loves it. Do they bounce? They still bounce on the screen whether you're... Look at that guy. He jumped over immediately. I, I think there's there's a bug there. Oh, That's happened I twice. missed that. I didn't see it, so... Oh, look. Oh, he's S bouncing back and forth No, really but look fast. when he bounces off the left. But they don't it... bounce off no, the wait. left. Wait, 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 wait. When he bounces off the left, hind side of the screen... Oh, he jumps halfway across the screen. He jumps halfway across yeah, the screen. Yeah, he does. You're right. It is yeah, very Yeah, RC-70, yeah, they're jumping. They yeah. are jumping. But, oh, you restarted? Yes, because I died. Because I'm dead. Mm. Damn it! <laughs> like, it's so hard. 
I, I think things may move too fast in I, this game. Well, for for these early no, rounds, I don't think so. Like I think I don't guy. think it's that bad. But um, um, I think you have to be fairly conservative with the air yo yo because when I first started playing, I was barely moving the yo yo, and I was doing pretty well. And then I started mm. to try and bounce in between the enemies. And then I kept dying because you just sort of inadvertently push a little too hard and then you start hitting them. It's 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 kinda it's hard to shoot them actually. It is very hard and to it's, shoot. And it's it's hard to change directions. So it, it's almost easier to just continually shoot in one direction. Yes. Um and not switch back and forth. Oh good job on the coin. Oh, I got the coin? Yeah. Oh but my usually God. you get the coin, you got a coin. You get the coin by accident. Yeah, you can. But now your score is going up really high because when you get the coins, your score for the little notes. Um, the mm. note, note, notelies, no, noties, single notely, <laughs> multiple noties, um, uh, goes up. So your score goes up a lot. Like your score is a lot higher than it was because you've got, you've gotten a couple of coins. Don't reset. No, 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 no. You're doing well. Doing well. I think I got lots Game of, bug. lots of lives. Mm. Atari, you're so, yeah, purry? he's so purry. Yeah. There we go. How, how can you tell? It should have a count, maybe, for how many notes you need left to get. Because I... It's so hectic, you can't remember. Um, It's the green bar at the bottom. It moves across, so... But it was only halfway there. Oh, I don't know, then. Um, On the last... I don't know. Like, watch now. It, it, it moved a bit, yeah. Yeah, it jumps. Look at oh, this! Oh, what is this Look craziness? This madness. How are you supposed to... Uh... Get past those guys. You have to slowly get them one by one. Oh, you're doing really well, though. You have oh to kill God. them. They don't... See... They never dis I think they should only bounce off your string. Not stay there forever. I don't know, but that that's the challenge That's the challenge so of the game. Hard. It is really hard. Those, those blue guys are really hard. I think the blue guys are way too hard. Or there should be a limit to the amount of bouncing. Yeah, he disappears. Like, like it, it'll be continuous if they're on your string, but they'll bounce maybe three times across and then leave. Yeah. That, I don't know if you can do that. I don't know how you program that, but... You just have a counter. Yeah. Like, look at that guy. Because I have to time they're that. they're forcing you to kill it. Whereas the other ones, you don't have to kill because they leave the screen. Like, I have to do this. Like, and it's so hard to shoot. And why is that bottom guy so much slower? Like, he's speeding up. That... Blue guy? Because they first go along and they're quite slow, and then they start bouncing and they start going really quickly. <sighs> yeah. Like, I get it. I get it. It's meant to be challenging. <laughs> it's very challenging right away. <laughs> uh, Spartan581. I think it needs a cheat code for James that gives him 99 lives when he uses the sequence. Damn it, reset, damn it, reset. <laughs> Rapid button smack, damn it, reset. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh huh. Ah, oh, you have to kill those blue guys. Like yeah, you do. They you, don't you go do. away. Yeah, yeah. They're once they're on the screen, you're stuck. So yeah. you 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 almost have to get them when they're moving slowly. And you have to get them on the right hand oh. side because the blue the blue guys cheat on the left. Like, oh, another one <laughs> until you get a full screen of blue guys. Well, go down and get your yeah. Go get oh, down and get God. your note, or it's never gonna end. Oh, it's packed full of terribleness. <laughs> I got a good score. Twelve six hundred. Mm -hmm. Go again. Mm -hmm. I have to put it on a Do you mainly set. focus on Atari? We mainly, I would say, ninety nine point nine percent focus on Atari twenty six hundred. Yes, because there is right off the bat so many games being released every week for the Atari twenty six hundred. I rarely duplicate games um and i do two shows a week about three three uh three games a show sometimes four sometimes two if they're big ones i revisit big ones um a little bit more often usually i only play, play the game play a game maybe three times maximum if there's like huge updates i did play coleco once that is true uh, i don't think i played anything else no just because I, I really love the 2600 and the way it operates and just just the look of it and the creativity that's going into 
um, 2600 games and also it's probably one of the one of the home, big it is the biggest homebrew scene that is hands down for sure and also it's the homebrew scene that releases the most games publicly so a lot of homebrew scenes that i've noticed that just don't even put it out like you don't see the game till it's put out into on a cartridge they don't put out a, a binary they don't put out work in progress you have to buy it on cartridge or nothing um sometimes they put out a demo of it to try it but sometimes not like the intellivision scene the ColecoVision scene there's very very closed closed off i find and also the uh games on cartridge for 2600 are half the price sometimes mm. of coleco games and intellivision games mostly because of the board prices that are um there's just more made of them i think or the boards are just cheaper to make oh, yeah you went through that one actually terrible it's a very very quirky system yes yeah but it also leads to very quirky weird advanced games at the same time and a lot of innovation oh god <laughs> maybe you should have the yo-yo ascend slower the longer you stay down hmm. you can slow there is a setting to slow down the yo-yo but i don't know if that would help what do you think to slow the movement yeah i think it's just a matter of getting used to the the responsiveness of the because the... if it was slower you couldn't shoot back up when you want to and i think that mm. outweighs the control that you would get from it mm. the c64 has an ultimate cartridge yeah every system has a multi-card except for the 7800 which sucks it would be re i think the 7800 would have a lot more um games being developed for it if there was a multi-card for it so hopefully somebody soon will make a multi-card for the 7800 system oh because not only can it play 7800 games it can play 2600 games i actually i i own all the systems actually i just almost all. <laughs> not all of them not systems. all of them but all, a lot of them. a fair number of them um don't own neo geo um <laughs> but uh i just ordered a a controller adapter for a 5200 that adapts 2600 joysticks to the 5200 because 5200 is notoriously bad joysticks that don't work so i have two different types of adapters now for the 5200 i think slowing it down could be a penalty for staying down too long yeah i because yeah. because well but there's penalties once you once you get to the level where you maybe you hit the penalties. red ones yeah like the, the scissors you'll be mostly staying at the yeah. top yeah when so you get the scissor level. when you i mean i don't think either of us oh this is these guys right yeah, I have multi-cart for the ColecoVision, the Vectrex, 2600, 5200. Um, oh yeah, you need that 5200 controller adapter, yes. Oh my god. Ugh. So hard. Because you could go boom, 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 boom and mm -hmm. not hit them. Like... <laughs> <laughs> you have to aim the other way. <laughs> yeah. I'm not good at going back and forth, so... One, one more. more one more okay yeah then more. i want to play a couple more okay 8-bit computer scene is healthy too that is true 8-bit is is a lot of games we just added that to the atari um atari homebrew awards and there was a surprising amount of games um probably a, the same amount as 2600 games it was really surprising and um I'd, i haven't played any of them but a lot of them look really good playing too fast and losing. Vectrex is probably the second biggest homebrew scene. I would agree. Like in terms of console. <laughs> That's terrible. I mean 8-bit is huge. It's actually really big. Um, yeah, Vectrex is very, very big. Vectrex has a multi-cart? Yeah, an SD multi-cart. Actually, there's, um, there's a good one. And I think terrible. I have two of them. And there's multi-carts where you have them built in as well. And flash ones. But I like the SD ones because then you can pop in your computer. But there are advantages to the USB ones because you can just, you don't have to open it up. Actually, the one with the Vectrex SD, I'll show you actually, you guys. I think it's right here. It's right here. There you 
you go. There's the Vectrex Multi cart. It has a little tiny micro SD in the top and just plugs into your Vectrex. And it's widely available, I think. Don't quote me on that. Things disappear all the time. It's always good to make sure you buy these kinds of things immediately as soon as they come out. Mm. Because the next very day, limited. Yeah. the guy could be like, eh, sold out and I'll never release it again. Like constantly that happens. So it's really, really annoying. So now I've learned to buy things immediately. And here's the other uh, Vectrex SD multi-cart. It's the Vec Multi. Um, I think that one's a Vec Multi as well, just a new case on it. And this one does not have a USB. It says USB on the front, but it does not. But it has a micro SD card and you just um, unscrew it, which is annoying. That's why the other one's a little bit better. And here's the Intellivision one, the LTO Flash. And this one does not have an SD card and it does have an S, um, a USB port on it. And you have to use a program specifically. Okay, my turn. Yep, those blue guys, man. Yep, they're the death of me too. Yeah. Right? We can't get past this <laughs> those level. Blue guys. I'm gonna have one more go at the game. Sure. Before I'd like we... to see those. The red. It would be nice to get past it so you can you can check out the little yeah. the scissor fish or whatever they are. Yeah, those are gonna be monsters. Deadly. Yeah. Deadly. Actually, I should just shoot because you get bonus points. Yeah. For the first round. Yeah. Yep. A Raspberry Pi in your Vectrex cart slot will run all written Vec games plus emulation of all mm. arcade vector games displaying in the Vec screen. Neat. A Raspberry Pi. Really? Yeah. In Is the, somebody developing that? Because um, that's a really smart Is idea. Is it just a matter of having the connect connector to the car the slot then? Um, the connector to the slot and, and also pi? sending the right signals. Um, mm. um, it's kind of like... I would think, because it's it would have an extra processor on it. Damn it! Somebody did make a Vectrex cart with uh, an extra processor in it, but they had such limited amounts, and it was really annoying. Mm -hmm. And it was on the list, but then the list disappeared. And he never made another one again. Mm. Um, but I think they only made like 150 of them. Mm. But if somebody makes it with a Raspberry Pi. That's a very cheap processor, um, but yeah. you still have to make all the rest of the cartridge, like to transmit the information. And... Oh my God, they just come so fast. Mm. I think slowing down the game completely, like everything slowing down would be helpful. I just don't like oh. those blue guys. You have to I hit think, them on the right I hand think side. They should bounce across and then leave, but if they're bouncing off your string, they should keep yes. going. Yes, yes. Because they just there become so frustrating and and it, it is Damn actually it. quite hard to hit them when you're bouncing up and down and then you can't easily switch sides no so you kind of have to pick one side or the other yeah um so it would be nice if the blue ones i'm going to suggest eventually that left but yeah like after a while know. or just don't bounce off the edges but bounce off the strings that's fine that's plenty yeah yeah I miss vector monitors and spinner controls more than anything else in vector, vector mm. gaming. Yeah, unfortunately, to have vector gaming, mm. you have to have a CRT, mm -hmm. which to have a big one is they're heavy and huge and. But they're so cool. Oh my God! Yes. Yeah. And somebody. And people and <laughs> I have to say, people who've never seen a Vectrex, like younger people, <laughs> when they see it, they're they're just like. It's like laser. Yeah, like they're. <laughs> blown away by it because there's nothing like it really there isn't like they've never seen anything in their yeah. life because they've never been to an arcade and, and and their only reference to it is like star wars graphics do you know what i yeah. mean yeah like from old the, the original 70s and 80s, 70s movies yeah so vectrix is ve vector ve vectri <laughs> vectri vectrixes uh are very very cool machines oh yeah very very cool um there has been a lot of work being done on color Vectrexes and using the intensity of the uh, beam to dictate which color mm. is on the screen. And they've made like a, um, like a, a rainbow intensity chart. So if it's at intensity zero, because you can have different intensities of drawing, 
uh, in intensity zero, it's like red, intensity one, it's like blue. And so there's like color uh, vectrexes now. Hmm. Um, so they can do all the arcade, the color arcade, like wow. Star Wars games. Wow. It's unbelievable. It looks so good. What was it? What is this called? Um, oh, Sorry. He's trapped on the left side. That's the problem. I couldn't. Mm. You There's have no definitely time. a bug there. There's definitely a bug there. Yeah, that would help, but mm. wouldn't solve everything. I need to almost. But I still have one more level after this, don't I? <laughs> Purple? Mm. Yeah, to get to the red guy. I think uh, I, I'm just. Good luck. <sighs> Terrible. Just gotta get him. Stay at the top in this yeah. one. Two! Bastards. Because uh, <laughs> I had a coin. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. And I have to keep these the top lanes cleared too. Oh. Nightmare! Uh, you're doing pretty well though. Yeah. Get him. Get him. <laughs> get get those gray blobs. I'm almost done. I have one more to get. There we go. Done. The nope. No. What? One more. Oh no! Oh, and a gray blob. Those guys are easy. What are you doing? I don't know. Get him. <laughs> oh. Keep on the right. Keep him on the right. There we go. I think I'm just gonna stay at the top until there's a music note. Yeah, there's a music note. And then boom. Yay! Oh. This is purple level. Is there a red guy yet? Damn it! I just just sit there until a red guy comes by. I just want to see. Is this the level? Is this the fourth I level? I don't know. What is the? Uh... I think it is. How am I supposed to do this? So purple cra purple caves. Yeah. What? Is the fourth? This is weird. So blue cave, purple cave, green cave, orange cave. I haven't seen an orange cave. Oh, maybe I'm not up there. May I have to repeat. Purple caves is supposed to be shoot one enemy, get one coin. Oh, oh, it is. But it's adding the the harder opponents. Yeah. So it. That's it. So red snipper, you'll encounter him later in the game. It doesn't say uh, where. Okay. If he comes in contact with your string, he'll snip it, costing you a life. Shoot him or get above him quickly. So, good game. No stunners. We didn't see any green stunners either. No. Mm. Game's too hard. But you know what? Maybe <laughs> that's... It maybe... Yeah, I don't know. Game is hard. So, we're going to go on to Eat Pong. Beer Pong now. Beer Pong. Yep. And that is a two-player game, I believe. Cool. So, if you want to take the joystick... Okay. How you doing, Arturi? Yeah, he's doing okay. I I heard someone in the chat mentioned they got a new cat. They did? Yes, got a and new then cat? it scrolled up the screen. Oh no, and you missed who it was? I can't remember. So who got a so new cat? And what does by... the cat look like? And are you going to share photos of your new cat? Yes, photos please. Especially this if is... it's really small and bouncy. By E.A. Smith. Okay. First posted December 8th, 2019. This build is from December 20th, 2019. Mm. It's an 8K F8 game. Other games they've made. Oh, I can switch it over so you guys <laughs> can see it. Very specifically root beer pop. Um... It's accessible to the kids. You know, it's... it's... <laughs> beer oh, beer pop. That's a root beer ball. That's hilarious. We'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> Other games he's made, one versus one baseball, alien attack, alien revenge, beer pong, championship golf, kung fu combat, one-on-one -on -one basketball, pickle, pro bowling. Sorry. Someone's talking about his new 11-week-old oh. gray stripey cat. Oh, we've got a gray stripey yeah, cat. Yeah, he's not too stripey, but... He's a little stripey on the Aww. tail. See his tail? It's got a little bit of stripes. Yeah. Had to change the name or add a root. Mm. Yep. No name yet for the cat. Okay. Well, you'll have to figure it out. Stripes. 11 weeks is pretty small. Can't call it Atari. Stripes. We've got an Atari cat. <laughs> um, you can download this in the Atari Age forums. Uh, EA Smith posted... David. David's a good name for... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, David. There David. you go. More Davids. Uh, I started conceptualizing beer pong. This will be a simple two-player, hopefully one-player also. I don't think he added that. 
probably just 4k. Each player will start with six cups. Land a ball in your opponent's cup to remove a cup. The idea is for this to be interactive, so that when a player, or team I suppose, loses a cup, they must take an actual drink in real life. <laughs> you're out of drink. Yeah. Um, unless you do not more. drink alcohol, of course, but you can drink anything. Yeah. First team player to lose all cup <laughs> loses. Also, shots will become more erratic as you lose cups. Since you are drinking those cups, yes. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid somebody abusing alcohol will be because of my game and getting hurt. Yeah. I have to wrestle with this a bit. <laughs> Although the number of people who e ever even play it will be low. Oh. oh, no. So, player one joystick now controls player two, which is blue player. A title screen added. Mm -hmm. This is on December 16th. Player zero one difficulty B, no impairment. Player one zero difficulty A, impairment. So let's go do that. Let's do impairment. impairment. Play responsibly, my friends. Th to shoot is similar to pro golf and pro bowling, but a little different. Start the shot by pushing up. Push down when the strength meter is at the desired level. The inside red slot is the strength level. You probably want to press the button. So there is the hand. Say that again. Push, uh, push up. Start the shot by pushing up. And then push down when the strength meter is at the desired level. Push. Oh, I see. Which is uh, the inside the red oh, slot is the strength level. Okay. For the bottom row, and the outside mm. is for the top row. You see that? The insides mm -hmm. are for the front row, and the outsides are for the back. So, so you want to hit in between. No. Or no, you want to hit the front you or the hit back. It on it, uh, one or the other. So you've got to line okay. up and then do that. Gotcha. Uh, press the button when the meter is back to zero. So you have three things to do. Up to start. Down. Down. And, and then, then button, button when it goes back down to zero. Okay. Early or late will cause the shot to be wide to wide right early or wide left late. Mm. Lose First to lose all five cups loses the game. And then he said, so this version has root beer as default, two player only. Set the TV type black and white for, to read beer pong. Difficulty A for either player is impairment. Uh, could be a result of caffeine jitters or inebriation. <laughs> Unless anybody finds a bug, I'm pretty much calling this complete. <laughs> he finishes his games in like a week. Nice. Which doesn't leave much time for me to <laughs> give much feedback, but other people can do that. Yeah. Okay, so we'll reset it. Okay. Um, so press the button and you'll be red guy. Okay, so it's, it's up and first. then down and then button. Yeah. Wrong order. Up, down, button. Oh, no, you the press, button. I press the button. button first. Oh, I could hear it. Okay, my that, my, uh, is it? No, it's nope. your controller. Nope. Oh, good. I thought he said the same, same joystick. No. That's good. Oh. Or maybe. Or uh, this one's not defined. Oh. Uh, did we find a bug? <laughs> no, that would have been found out pretty quick. Uh, okay, so player one, joystick up. Yep, there we go. Down, left, right. Oh, I see what you mean by not to find. Fire. Done. Okay. Did you? Uh, no. No. I, I have all... No. Oh, yeah. you got to take a drink. Press the button. There you go. Oh, funny. <laughs> That's how it works, I guess. I didn't read that. but The hand does look very detailed. Yeah, the hand is really good. Oh, you <laughs> got it in accidentally. Nice. And drink. Yeah, the hand is really, really nice. And it's yeah. got the little ball in I the hand. I do like that. Yeah, yeah. I think I got it. Nope. Missed. Mm -hmm. I love how the sprite of the hand looks really cool, VHC, yes. Uh, for clarity's sake, Beer Pong for Atari is two-player game. Every other version of Beer Pong is someone between lar college party and rugby level. Uh, to take a drink. <laughs> I don't have... I have, to, I have to refill my drink after we've played this at least once. Yeah. Oops, way too early. Damn it. I must say this is a lot easier controls than his other games. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, too far. Definitely too far. 
Let's go for the middle because then if it bounces. Well, it, and, and it'll curve left or right. Oh, that's so, perfect. Almost uh, perfect. So if you're, if you're a little off, there's there's still a very good chance. That's right. You want to, which is in real life, you do that too. You aim for the cluster. Ooh. Oh, that oh, was terrible. Off. That was very bad. <laughs> too late. It's a little fast. I found it a little fast, but well, you're, you're doing pretty skill. good. You're pretty doing pretty good. <sighs> what? RC70 says, looks exactly like my hand after 10 beers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Three by three tie. Not anymore. Tanya is winning. A little bit late. Damn it. Your turn. Oh, that was way off. I hit the button. It's like automatic. I'm going hit to hit that button. Perfect. Ugh. Yes. It's a dusty controller. Dusty, dusty. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Way off. No, no, I, 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 I don't know. I don't hit down. Yeah. Ooh. You hit, Did you hit the button? Afterwards, yeah. That's why I only went that green. If I didn't hit the button, it would go green all the way out. It, it, it goes too fast, I swear. And I didn't... Oh, I think my is... impairment is not on. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh my god, that's yeah. fast. See, the impairment really affects you. Let's play not impairment. That's, yeah. that's To be honest, I'm drinking rum, he's drinking water, so it, it actually <laughs> reflects real life. <laughs> there we <laughs> go. Okay. Why is it a 2-2? Two, two? two left, I guess. Yeah, that's, oh, my goodness. that's what it oh, is. Oh, did you take it off? Yeah. Oh, jeez. I was like I so just fast. Said that. I was trying to be so fast. No. Oh my god. Lower level. Yeah. Oh right. I forget. Oh. I'm going for the top level now. Terrible. Terrible. Perfect. Yay. So you took the impairment off both? Yes. One left. Have to pay more attention. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm, curve. There we go. I missed the description. Does the oh. aiming get harder the more you drink? You can turn that oh. off or oh. on. So you can make it so it's easier or or it just stays the same or gets harder. I don't know what it is, but I keep hitting the button at the worst possible ooh. time. <laughs> you do have to be like I find you have to be a little bit ahead. There we go. Better, but yeah, but but I just I I just like hit down and hit the button. I, I just relax. Perfect. Ugh. There we go. Start. Oh, over. it just immediately starts over. Okay. Yeah. All right. As soon as you drink, it's like boom. It's done. Yeah. It should it should <laughs> it should have something other than immediate reset, mm. but it's fine. Uh, there should be a perfect drunk zone. That's after you've had the first cup. <laughs> perfect drunk zone. Yeah, exactly. Raming is super. Yeah, first. <laughs> it gets easier after first one, but yeah, then it gets harder. It gets harder as you go. Okay. Um, another easy round? No, we should do impairment. impairment? And I'm going to go get another drink. In the okay, interim. don't take too long. <laughs> it's I can't a shame because it's a two person game. Because I can't even Pet play this Atari by myself. Talk about, I don't know. Talk about, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, perfect. Great. Um, dusty, dusty controller. What is this? What is this? Achievement unlock. FPS counter. What is this? Oh, I press the Xbox button. Does that actually work? Interesting. You guys can see that? Oh, no, it's an overlay. You guys can't see that. Interesting. CPU 46%, GPU 29%, RAM 37%, zero frames per second. No, we don't see that. Um, yeah, he he doesn't uh, allow for very long input. He gets his games done like he releases his first beta when it's like almost done. And then he gives like a couple days, maybe maximum a week. EA Smith, and then he's like, "That's done. It's over. I'm gonna call this finished." Um, but you know, this one doesn't have any bugs. 
he had uh, one of the table legs was off by like a pixel and he fixed that and somebody somebody um, told him about that but I think that was the only only thing he fixed he does have a little uh, black line there so he could have made it so that he hides um, there's an H move line there so he could have made one extra little bit of black to hide that that could have been done EA Sports 2600 yeah I saw that comment arena foot Edward A. Smith I don't think it's advisable that he uses the name EA Sports. I think that would be a quick shutdown for uh, from Electronic Arts to him. That's the game making you think there are really numbers there. You really, you're really just drunk and hallucinating the Xbox achievement you think you saw. <laughs> Zach accidentally pressed this button. Oh yeah. And this came up, and I'm like, "What is this?" But they can't see that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> What was it? Pick up your controller. It's some Xbox thing with Windows 10 because they're the what? same company. Oh, from Twitch, you mean, or? No, just oh, Windows. Oh, this. Oh, that's so funny. Yep. Oh, that's funny. Because I was cleaning off the dust off of it. It's the ball. Yeah, it's a little hard to like. Oh, I'm not. I'm not so far away. I'm not completely straight. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm all. I'm pretty much centered on the TV. Oh, Ooh, too early. Too early. But it might hit something. Nope. No. Oh, a little off. Aha! Uh -huh. Do you have the impairment on? Yep, it should be. So it's going to be f um, super fast right away? No, no, fast? it gradually gets faster. Oh, okay. That's what impairment is. Yes. Yes. I like how the game looks. The hand sprite <laughs> is cool, and the game has an overall Activision look. Feel yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah, it does. yeah, for sure. It's the bright, the bright colors, the primary colors. Should be good. Nope. It's a little off on the line. No, too far. Perfect at the button press, but. No, the rest of it was it was off. Perfect. Anyone have any experience with monster joysticks? Just ordered one. What's a monster joystick? I've heard of monster cables. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Now Wasn't I have to speed up. For it, but that's okay. <laughs> Oof. Nope. <clears throat> yeah, he's made uh, several. Um... Oh damn it! <laughs> several games now. He's done bowling. He's done. Um this and we're going to be playing his baseball that was a little bit off he's going to be playing his baseball at the end of the show and he's also made one other game okay three three tie yep got an update arena foots uh, doing the play-by-play -play nice, there nice oh it's so fast now really hard I've never heard of monster joysticks. Is it made by the same company? They make monster energy mm. drink and monster cables? Oh! Oh, it worked! Lucky Excellent. bounce. Yeah. <laughs> now it's going to get fast for me. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. So oh, fast it almost. now. I can't line it up. No, oh, that's, that's good. Oh, not bad. Mm. You really have to be no, quite precise you, with you this game. You have to be very precise with hitting the button, actually. Damn it. it really curves. Ugh. So hard. Yours is even faster. I know. Arcade-like joysticks that could be compatible with Atari? Really? <laughs> Whoa, you didn't even press the button. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it go. I think your impairment's affecting you directly I think it now. it is, yeah. <laughs> Maybe? No. No. So hard with impairment on. Good. Definitely adds a lot of. Oh. Mm. No, too off. No. Adds a lot of oh. skill factor. Oh my God, it's so fast. Yeah, but no, I thought you might get it there. No, I was out in the uh, the distance. Mm -hmm. mm. Whoa. <laughs> the impairment really uh, curves curves the pong ball. Oh, I think. Oh. It does. Oh, that was terrible. 
That was terrible. Really terrible. How did you get all the front ones and I'm happy? I don't know. <laughs> We've done the, the exact opposite. Yeah, you got all the back ones and I've got all the front ones. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. <sighs> Way too late on the button every time. I have to do the button much quicker. Oh, I feel, I feel like that should have done it. There. Better. Still, you have to be so precise. It's too hard. The impairment's too hard. No. Wow. Come on. Cafe Man 2D, what do you need to accomplish to get the ball to go straight? You have to hit the button right in the middle. So you have nothing left. No green. So when it comes back again, right there... Ugh. You have to See, hit it. And it curves. It'll yeah. curve left or right if it's Quite a bit, in the too. yellow or the green. So Even if you're off just to a the right tiny in the yellow, bit. to the left in the green, I think. There, that's See, a that perfect was perfect. Hit. But, but why didn't because it work? I because I went too long. Oh yeah. So you have to have both. You can't just have the button press. Oh, that so was terrible. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the impairment uh, definitely makes it harder. Uh, we're gonna switch it soon. Because we haven't hit any for a long time. Oh. Okay, if I don't get this, we're switching it back. No. <laughs> okay. What? No. You One want more. impairment on? One more. Okay. I'll have it with impairment off then. Nope. Oh. Okay. Let difficulty B. I don't give up. You can take your impairment off. <laughs> you want yours on? Leave mine on. You, you take your impairment off. Okay. Okay, I need... Oof. Oof. Ha! <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh yeah, Kung Fu Combat. That's right. I don't know if I'd call that a sports game. Maybe if it was Judo Combat. But I guess you could technically... It's, a, it's too easy, I think. And now this is going to be insane. And this is too hard. <laughs> like, I think there are two opposite ends. Yeah, it is a little too hard with the impairment on. I think. And a little too easy with it I off. I think if you have... Well, you are down to your last cup, so it should the impairment should be pretty bad. It's super fast. Yes. Yeah. The problem is, is it gives you a huge advantage if you do well early on. Yes. But if you're both not doing... <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you're both not doing great then then the game just goes on forever yeah yeah and that's Done. it it's pretty fun it's pretty a fun I think very it's good too concept easy and too hard yeah, yeah yeah i think i think uh certainly towards the end the impairment is really hard yes it is the t-shirt that that was too small for james it fits me quite well so yeah um his Christmas present has become my Christmas yes. present, so... Mm. <laughs> How Is did that, that happen? Yeah. Mm. So anyway. we're going to move on to George 2007. Is it medium or large? It's a small. Yeah. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a medium. A medium, yeah. And in this case, I was a medium. Yeah. It's very annoying. It's tough because you buy a lot of shirts that are size small, but you don't really know until you get them exactly and, how they're going to fit, so... Yeah. Yeah, but no, it's a good size for me. Okay, so this is... This is George 2007, level one, mountain of poop. There you go. Um, so I ran across this game mm -hmm. when he released the 2019. I was looking, I was like, oh, George, I'll look it up. And I was like, there's another George? And it's by the same guy? So I was like, well, this must be a sequel then. And it's not. It has, it, they have nothing to do with each other. He's, he hasn't mentioned he made another George game oh, that's funny. 12 years prior. And this is made by Atari 2600 Land, a.k.a. Well, a.k.a. Atari 2600 Land, made by Chris Reed. He makes a billion games, uh, like one a month, pretty much. I think he challenges himself to, to make um, games really quickly. Um, but he, he puts out so many. He's uh, this is this was made uh, first posted and completed. He just put it out and didn't update it. Uh, December fourth, two thousand seven. 
It's an 8K F8SC. Um, other games he's made, Billy the Ball, Castle of Doom, Dr. Flynn and His Pills, Isaiah's We Chase, George 2007-2019, Killer Bees, Kirby 2600, One Button Bob, which I really like, Midspace, White Water Madness, plus a thousand other games. You can download this in the Atari Age forums. Thank you very much, Arena Foot. Is that the right George? It's the George 2007 version? I think it is. Yes, it is. It says, here's a game I'm working on called George. It's basically a platformer game, and in my, in my honest opinion, the best one I've made so far. I keep thinking, I think I'll keep working on this alongside Go Sub 2. He didn't. Uh, you get infinite lives because there's eight levels. You, you didn't get really infinite lives. It starts over, right? Maybe it starts right over at the in the beginning. same level. Ugh. Maybe if you make it to level chance. two, it starts over in level two. Yeah. Um, all the levels will be based on various bodily functions. Nice. Mountain of Poop, Phlegm Forest, Sea of Pea, etc. This version only goes to screen six of level one, so there is no level two. Oh! oh. <laughs> so, good luck. I hope you like it. Level one has a rolling smiley face, which you can hop on for a ride. In some cases, you need to get on it. Yeah. But don't let it mow you down, or else you'll start at the beginning of the level. Yeah. That is all she wrote on that. That's pretty simple. <laughs> And not necessarily easy, but pretty simple. This is where you have to hop on. Oh, see, I get caught in the... See, that's... No, it's kind of weird because if you're pushed up against the wall, I'm not jumping. I'm pushing oh. up, but I'm not jumping. Oh. So I'm Getting like, caught. oh, I need to not be up against the wall. Very simple platformer. Very simple. He doesn't move his legs when he walks. <laughs> he slides. He glides. He doesn't walk. Oh, he jumped on him. Yeah. <clears throat> Had to add it to the list as I didn't know about this one either. Oh, very cool. Yeah, sometimes I find ones that uh, are not in the list. And there's just so many, so many games out there. Oh, oh I thought I jumped. Um, I, in the thread, I read that people were having trouble on that level jumping. Oh, really? On so that particular level? That particular level. So maybe we can get past that. Maybe we can't. So next time you go to that, make sure you leave lots of space to try the jumping. Like here. Make mm. sure you do leave tons of space. Okay, you did it. Okay, you'll have to jump off of him. <sighs> yeah, but you just go boing, 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 that's, boing, boing, That's boing. what you have to do. You don't you control it. It just goes to, boing, 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 boing. <laughs> you have to jump on him. Yes. That's why you can't jump high. You have to jump on him and jump. then jump high, but you have to time it because you're jumping. If I jump, this is this is what happens. Mm -hmm. It's like you just you're just holding it up, so you, it's the timing of the jump. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. Which is if you're just if you're trying to be precise is actually kind of hard. Cafe Man says Chris does make a lot of games. Yes, <laughs> I still have fondness for his Jack and the Beanstalk from years back. No, I don't think I've ever played Jack and the Beanstalk. Oh, so you can't jump when you're up against the wall. Keep that in mind. <laughs> you can't jump when you're up against I the will. wall. I'll keep it in mind. Do not, do not get right up against the wall. It prevents you. Yeah, it does. From living. Yep. Slide. You can duck, which hasn't come into play yet. Mm. Oops. <laughs> Why didn't he make the mm. button jump? Mm. That's the worst. Mm -hmm. He doesn't use the button at all, but he doesn't make a jump. Why? Why? That's like the thing you do. I feel like this is Marty McFly on a hoverboard. Oh, maybe. He's just like floating around. Could be on a hoverboard instead of yeah. He's not actually yellow walking. sneakers. It's a tiny yellow hoverboard. Yeah. Well, you can kind of. There you go. It's not too hard to get to there. Yeah. But then, this. then getting up that little bit there, you have to get on on the smiley. Oh, I did it. Yeah. Kind of. But I jumped immediately off him. There oh. you go. Oh my God, you did that pretty easy. Yeah. It's good to we'll get see. on him first, and then. Look how high I could jump. Nothing. Yeah, like, that's what. Maybe that's the jumping area. Yeah. That, like. Yeah. Oh, you oh, got it. it. Oh. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Last screen. <laughs> now you have to do it. Me. You just kill me. <sighs> I won the game. Uh, World record. World record. <laughs> <laughs> Collision detection is tricky in the jumping over the smiley. Yeah, there's some. It's some flaky jumping going on in this game. 
You get stuck on the walls. Mm -hmm. You don't really jump very high in this game. I wish it could jump a little higher. <laughs> yeah, it's very tricky jumping off. Look at him, like, Ugh. having some trouble staying Ugh. on him. Ugh. Ugh. Not easy. I love the score zero. You just don't get any points in this game. <laughs> yet, yeah. yet it keeps score. <laughs> I do score, like the zero. the screen wrapping, where you kind of go down the stairs, but then you have to wrap around to go down the next stairs. Yeah. Interesting concept. <laughs> zero. Is there any sound? No, there's no sound in this game. This is pretty simple. Pretty basic. I mean, it's got everything there. He just didn't make a second level. He just never kept doing the game, which is unfortunate. It's kind of kind of a cool little concept i love platformers i'm sw i swear i'm not advertising for fill in the blank but they have a switch on the joystick will change the up on the joystick to the second fire button i bought a joystick i haven't had time to put it together but it is that joystick where it has a switch i'm gonna walk in front of you yeah <laughs> so go in a safe place yeah it's fine Spartan 581, would you really want sound for a game called Mountain of Poop? <laughs> agreed, agreed. That is true. Be interesting. Fart um, noises off an Atari machine? I don't know. Yeah, you can is do it. Is that possible? Has someone tried? I bet someone has tried. Probably. <laughs> anyway, I can't find it. Oh. But I did buy it. Oh, the one you made? That I'm supposed to make when I have time. You haven't made it? I thought you did no, make it. No, there's oh, soldering, sadness. but now I feel confident enough to do it after after you uh played around not, with my 2600 uh, cannot fix your tar 2600 but i didn't not not fix it i didn't break it further and i installed a piece on it yeah darcy's not here today Jeez. yeah he was supposed to give you a hand he was with supposed it. to give me a hand with it and he it's not here so it gets delayed i'll probably give it another try this weekend on my own mm. We'll see how that but goes. But it's, it's not the soldering. What are you trying to do? You're trying to work on uh, determine where the issue is with the voltage drop? Yep. I'm trying to do a trace of power. Okay. Through the system. Oh, good. Oh, way too early. Oh, it's the timing. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done with this. I, okay. I really... There's nothing satisfying <laughs> about getting to the end of this. So. No. no. I'm finished. Not. Okay, now we're going to play the updated i'll leave that to you guys to see if you think this is the updated version <laughs> of george because it released another game called george this one has music. Here so it's another little guy mm -hmm. so maybe 2019 yep george 2019 okay. it's time for oh we're gonna if it was ready with the length with <laughs> Uh, by Chris Reed. This was first posted December 10th. This build is December 11th. It's a 4K game. And uh, other games, I read, I read this out. You can download this in the Atari Age forums as well. Um, ah, what? So you can't touch the green. <laughs> My game I literally spent almost all morning on. <laughs> I got up at about 2 and quit at 9 or so. I have as a result the beginning of a game. I named it George. Right now, George is on an alien planet. I think he just forgot. He's not mentioning the other game at all. His goal is to get to the end of the path that stretches out a long, winding way. The path area scrolls up and down. Hard parts were getting a second playfield in. Had to use Bogax's ASM code from Castle of Doom. And all the subsequent playfields must be done that way due to the weird code of the path area. The level here is reminiscent of my climbing stage of Old Jack and the Beanstalk. Somebody mentioned that. Uh, except instead of skipping from screen to screen, it scrolls. Some stuff to add is music, which I want to fill up the rest of the banquet. So should I have two fairly large songs, one for the title screen and one for level one? Toxic Grass Path? So what do you think? Just looking at George is making my arms tired. I know! <laughs> this is George... 
He's screaming the whole way. He's like, ah! He is living in toxic grassland. So, toxic grass path. It's like uh, Kermit the Frog when he freaks out. And, goes, ah! Ah! <laughs> and then he followed up new version. Score is now health. Ah. So his arms are okay to touch, not his legs. So I've seen you touch his arms to the grass. And these these things just rant like you have like a lot die of bomb you. Yeah, no, you don't. No, you don't. You start over really quickly. I don't know how that works. The bird? The bird touching you? Um. He just seems to take health away from you. Yeah, but then he starts you back at the beginning. So I'm not really sure. Like maybe you or have are you only. touching the grass? No, no, because I was standing still, and the bird touched me, and I went back to the beginning. It's easier with a keyboard and Stella, not yeah, a joystick. Yeah, I would, I would say the joystick is not <laughs> is not easy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating okay. right now. But, uh, yeah. New version scores now health. If it b drops below 100... You start at the beginning again. You start, the game ends, which is, that, which is kind of hard to do right now, but not near the end of the game. Added a bird that tries to get you. It chirps first before it appears. Sometimes it won't appear. Because you're not in its vicinity, so it's not a bug. At least I don't think. The longer the bird touches you, the more points you lose. I also made it so going off the path costs 20 health points. Oh, well, you're almost there. He does move very fast when you move the joystick. Yeah, he does. It's quite sensitive. There is a bit of leeway for touching the path. I've seen you touch it a little bit. Yeah, but like you if lose you're... points a lot of the time. Oh. oh, you have to go down again. Chris technically did do George 2007 is what Happy Days did to Chuck Cunningham. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like completely ignoring that he exists. Oh. Just oh. You can't avoid them. They go for you. Yeah. I wouldn't do Very it. hard. Oh, and you almost started over. The end. You yeah. ran onto the green. No, you he did. hit me. You, did. you went up and ran onto the green. But the pink guy hit me. You can't avoid them. That's did, the problem. I did, but you panicked and went up to the green. I didn't. I, your Look. hands can touch the green. Look, he's touching me and I just lose health. That's it. Yeah, and then once you're down 100 points, you start over. So the pink guy hit me. Every 100? You... Yes. Oh. I, I keep telling you this. See, your points go down. Your yeah. health goes down, so if you lose 100, it but doesn't you... matter if it's the pink thing, <laughs> the pink bird, or the you green, you do start back at the beginning. You panicked. You I did panic, it. but he hit me too, so it could have been either, really. Yeah, can't avoid him. I was him. very close. It's very Sometimes annoying. you can avoid him. Yeah. Sometimes he's just far enough away that he doesn't, doesn't go straight for you. But like this, yeah. But you have to have the space to avoid him too. So it's if right you're in now. a really narrow point. Oh, he's nowhere near. Yeah. Yeah, if you're in a narrow space, you're, you're toast. I do panic. That is that is part of the problem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's why I can't play horror games. <laughs> oh, see? He touched, but he didn't reset me. Well, if you get close enough to the end, then you're okay. See, you did that quite easily. And done. <laughs> First try. First try. And it's the same? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you have to do it. Mm -hmm. You have to complete it. Yeah. Hooray! I won his other game. He does make very, very simple games. They're almost like he has a concept in his head, and then when he gets the concept done, he's like, that's, that's it. Even if it's one level, he's like, I'm done. I want to do a new game. He literally has probably a hundred, a hundred games. Um... Arena Foot, how many how many games do you think he has? If you had to sort it, because oh. I can't do anything on the computer because you're no using you can't. it. I wanted to sort it by uh, author. Um, Arena Foot, if you if you sort it by author of the game and and then look at how many Chris Reed games there are, think you could do that? And I bet there is a hundred at least. Because he's done so many games. And we've, we've played like, I think like, probably around 20 on the show. And s a lot of them that I look, la look at are like so, so basic. They're not even barely a game. Um, so I usually only focus on the ones that, that are completable. Like there's a, a goal that you can get to, at least one level. And some of them are really, really, really cool concepts. Like One Button Bob was incredibly innovative. Where 
you only have one button. That's all you play with is one button. And it's kind of like an endless runner, except some levels you jump with the button. Yay. Some levels you stop with the button. Some levels you go with the button. Mm. Some levels you like hop onto things. Like it's all you have is one button. Mm. And it's incredibly innovative. Mm. And I wish he would continue on with that game because it's so amazing. Just the concept of it. Still working on it. <laughs> working on it. Mm -hmm. Working on it. Reminds me of HAL 9000. 132? Wow. Oh my god, that's a lot. Yeah. That is a lot of games. That's more than I thought. So we're going to be going on to the last game now. Yep, oh, wow, it's one short. versus one. Uh, so let me switch over to that. And this is by EA Smith as well. And according to Arena Foot, this was the first game that was completed in 2020. Hmm. This was the first declared completed game. Okay, so let's read about this because it's a two-player game. So we both have to play. Uh, by EA Smith, first posted December 19th. This build is from January 2nd, so two weeks <laughs> he gave before he finished it. Mm -hmm. It's a 16K uh, F6 game. Uh, this, and I already said that, it's the first homebrew, homebrew game completed in 2020. Mm -hmm. He actually said, I just missed the 2019 <laughs> de deadline. Because <laughs> oh, I, no. I bet he wanted this in the Atari Awards, right? Yeah. But he can have it in next year. Yeah. He already has some games in the Atari Awards, I think, so. Yeah. Nice to be the first completed in 2020, so yeah. that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one will take a bit longer than my last couple of games. Two weeks? Uh, a week. When I was a kid, uh, my friend and I used to play a game in the sandlot backyard that was one-on-one -on -one baseball. No fielding or running, but mm. more similar to electronic handheld baseball. Here's the way it worked. There were predetermined areas where the ball would land that were considered singles or doubles. Mm. Basically, line drive down the line or, or in the gaps, off the wall, or hard grounders through the holes. Mm. Any fly, ball, or pop-up where a fielder would be was an out. Mm. Any route Routine ground ball was an out. Strikeout was an out. Home run was a home run, of course. Hits placed ghost runners on the bases. And a single or double would score a runner from the second base. Mm. Uh, so it was all kept track of in our heads and all our hits outs were agreed upon. I think I have been thinking about this for a while and I think I can do this now that I have the graphics. Uh, the graphics might look Neat. decent. Yeah. A full baseball game is beyond my ability. I did another childhood game called Pickle. Yes, that was his first game ever, actually. Mm. And I hope to rework that game at some point now that my graphics ability have, has improved. <laughs> yeah, that was a very confusing game. After hit, the view will switch to an overhead view of the field, runners, traveling ball, fence, etc. Instructions. This is one-on-one -on -one baseball like you might have played in the backyard or sand lot. There is no fielding or base running. All field and base running is controlled by ghost players. The result of a hit, out, single, double, triple, or home run is determined by the location of the hit, also the type of the hit. Mm. Grounder, line drive, fly ball, high fly ball. Basically, if the ball is hit to where a ghost fielder could make a play, then the result is an out. Mm. You control the red player who is right-handed. The computer controls the blue player who is left-handed. Actually, it's a one player, so I'll let you go first. Oh. Let's press the button. And uh, I think it's pretty good graphics here. He's got four different colors in a row. Oh, out. Looks like it went to... Oh, terrible. So you're the batter, I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the score up above, looking really nice. Oh, foul. I did a lot of that when I played soccer. <laughs> a lot of fouls. Yep. Okay, press the button to start the AI pitch. Ooh, oh. The pitch will either be a fastball or an off-speed pitch. There are nine possible locations. Down mm. the middle, high, high inside, etc. Mm. If the pitch is a strike, swing by pressing the button. To swing low, press down while pressing the button. Swing high, press up by pressing the button. Button is button only is a level swing, so you can go high, low. So you're pitching now. You're going to guess? Okay. Uh, three called or missed strikes is a strikeout. Four balls is a walk. After three outs, change sides like normal. Any base hit will score a runner on second or third base. There's no sacrifice bunts or sacrifice flies in one versus one baseball. Pitching. 
There is a one second delay after each hit, so pitches will not register until then. Which is good because he made a so that you're not accidentally pressing something. Push up to select fastball, down to select off speed. Next, select the location of the pitch by holding the joystick in the desired direction or no direction and press the button. So fastball up and then up or down or nothing and then press the button. Uh, any let's see, change view. Well, in the pitcher batter view, move the TV type to black and white to check the runner's position. Ooh. Game ends after nine innings or after top of the ninth if the blue player is leading. No extra innings. A slight reflection in the back pitcher. Always. There's always. Oh. There we go. Jeez. No reflection anymore. <laughs> doing better when uh Imp impairment continues <laughs> oh we can't see the game oh sorry guys we can't see the game oh no, <laughs> oh, no. We're, we weren't looking at the chat if we could see it it would be great <laughs> oh and then i covered up the reflection i thought they were being distracted by the reflection that's hilarious in fact they were trying to They're see the game <laughs> through the reflection <laughs> Sorry. It happens. It happens. You need a mirror. <laughs> that would be really distracting. Oh, it's over. Yeah, it's over. Is it? Yep. Nine innings already? Nine innings. Oh, no, it's not over. There. Oh, because you touched it. But yeah. let's uh, let's play uh, against each other. You need a mirror. Yeah. You can play one versus one. I thought it was yep. one versus... Nope. Um, how do we do that? Oh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. How do you set it to two players? Um, Can you? Yes. Oh, okay. So, play player one to difficulty A. Okay. There we go. Okay. Press button. So, who is pitching? I think I'm red, so I think okay. you're pitching. Okay, it is swing. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to time. Uh, right to second base. Oh, you might get some. Oh Ow. no! It's out. always out. It seems. <laughs> there we go. So now you can see the graphics. The graphics are pretty cool. Very nice graphics. Yeah. Ball one. Is it a ball? Yeah. yeah. Too high. Foul. Oh, definitely foul. Oh, get it. Oh, no. Home run. Yeah. Woo. Scored one. That was very low. Oh, right in the middle. Aha. Uh -huh. okay. Now it's my turn? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. You remember the instructions? Mm -hmm. Oh, right in the Ooh, middle. Oh, no, it's an out for sure. Mm. You have to hit in the outfield for a single or a double. Oh. Come on. Oh, too early. Don't know how to play baseball, so I have no idea what's going on, but definitely looks great. I am hitting the ball, and Tanya's uh, pitching the ball, and I am just trying to swing when it comes across the plate by pressing the button. Ugh. Well, that was a ball. It was high. Oh, high again. And I swung high. It's hard to tell. Oh, maybe. So it's always hard. out. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Whoa. Out. Foul. Oh, 
Come on. Oh, oh one, one base. base. That's the first time, I think, right? Woo. I got a one base before. So let's take a look. See, now you can yeah, switch back and forth. Yeah, there's someone on first base. Someone on first base at the top of the screen. Yeah. Interesting. Very cool. Is it? Yep. What? Mmm. It's really hard to hit the ball. And then it's really hard to uh, get anything when you hit the ball. Oh, come on. <gasps> oh, Third base. Oh, that was pretty good. Very nice. Ugh. Oh. Well, this ball at least. Foul! Run home! Steal! Ah! Damn it! Two out. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Oh, is it? No. Oh, am I still? Still going. Sorry. Come on! Come on! Come on! Something! Something! No. <gasps> now it's my. Outfield feels three times bigger than the infield. Yeah. <laughs> now it's your turn, right? Yeah. Out. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Did it bounce off? I, it kind of looked like mm. it, but I don't think that's possible. One yes. Base. Still haven't got any score on the board. No, that's gonna be caught. If it goes too high yeah, in the yeah, if it's in, a pop up, yeah. Yeah, it's just plenty of time for somebody to get under it. Oh. What? Ah. Uh. Damn it. Out of there! No! Finally! That's two! Because one was no. on base! <sighs> Phew. Oh, didn't even swing at that. That's good because it was really low. Mm -hmm. I can see your joystick in my peripheral vision. I know, you can kind of see what I'm <laughs> doing, right? That kind of, it's kind of cheating, right? It if is. you're paying attention. I'm pitching. I'm blue. Whoa, I didn't even move. Who did that get caught by? I don't know. Maybe it went up in the back catcher. Yeah, straight up. Foul! My turn again. Fourth inning. Ugh. It looks like it's a cricket bat. <laughs> or a club that he's using. I think I would have made the graphics a little bit longer on the bat. Like the thick, thick part of it. Oh no. Out. Or a shovel, he's, he's... No! Go, 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 go! No! Out. Fifth inning. Oh. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> the low and the high. It's very hard to judge. It is. Because it dips at the last second. Yeah. I don't think you can actually really tell. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh. 
I'm back up at bat. It's 2-2. Two, two. The variety of pitches is pretty good. It is, actually. It's enough. I, 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 I'm not... I haven't quite figured it all out yet, so... As far as, like, what... what uh, oh, no! Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Oh. Up is fast, low is slow. Yeah, and then up no, is high, yeah. low is low. Yeah, and middle but is it's nothing. not quite right. It's not quite... It's what it is. No, that, no like, uh, yeah, up is fast, low is... Hey. Uh, <laughs> up is fast, low is slow, I agree. Yes. But the up and down after you hit it, the timing seems to impact it, too. I'm not sure. You mean when you're... How, how quickly you hit the button after you after you do the up and down. Really? Yeah, I think so. I'm not so sure. It seems to change where it sits um, across the uh, across the plate. Hmm. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Brutal. I wonder had, who had to do all the fetching in real life, one versus one yeah, as they fight no as kids. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> that is true. Like, who has to get the ball? I, I, I would think it's the person hitting the ball that yeah. has to go get it. But you'd probably have a bunch of balls, right? So you don't have to slow down the play. But then you'd have to memorize where all the balls were. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that was, that was a far hit. I mean, it's not easy making a baseball game. Because there's so much to it. There's a lot of yeah. physics going on. And a lot of variety that has to happen in here. No! Yes. One base. But I do appreciate like the... Um, the curvature of the ball when it's being thrown. It's it's quite good. Like you don't really notice that... Like, oh, that's going to be caught. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It pretty much has to go along the ground. Mm -hmm. If it's up in the air, you're done. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a home run. Mm. And I notice that if you do a fastball, there's a higher chance of the other person getting a home run. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing slow balls <laughs> the whole time now. What is a slow ball? Ah. Yeah. Well, I guess, I mean, that would be silly. If you time it properly. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. I wonder if it goes into extra innings. Ooh, I wonder. Visually looks similar to Pete Rose baseball. Yes, very similar to the um, position of the of the um, of the people. What's happening? You're not working. No. Walk. Can't seem to hit it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wasn't wasn't able to hit it. Maybe it was just bad timing. Nope, you're still pitching. Am I? You're oh, red. I thought, I thought it switched colors there for a second. <laughs> Funny. Get your eyes tested, I think. Nope. Out. Now, now it's, it's me. Because, yeah, I'm always on the right, right? Oh, I see, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a left-handed batter. <laughs> you're a right-handed batter. That's funny. I mean, it makes it visually um, distinct. Mm -hmm. Catch it. Oh. Lots of time. Too slow. Way out there. Into the car park. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Blip. You can kind of tell by the shadow, what kind of ball's being thrown. Yeah. 
if you're. Ooh, that was a slow ball Whoa, too. Oh, just <gasps> made it. Wow. Nice. Uh oh. So you can. Uh oh, it's, yep, it's the eighth. <laughs> Coming down to it. Now it's the ninth. Oh, this is it. Last oh, last no. chance to score. No, no, no! <laughs> Maybe we will find out if it goes extra innings. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Foul. Foul. Very good at fouling. <sighs> Two outs. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Two strikes. It's all tied up. <laughs> this is it. Go another inning. Oh. oh. Damn it. Come on. Oh. Strike. What was that? That was an out, but I didn't actually say it was an out. <laughs> and that's the end of the game. That's the end of the game. There are ties in baseball. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> no extra. Let McAllister entertaining intense. Ending <laughs> inning dash, yeah. Uh, oh, that's so uh, funny. So it doesn't have extra innings. Nope. That is something that it probably should have. Mm, at least. Yeah. Inning equals bleh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ties, but no crying. Very true. Oh, maybe, Very maybe true. we do go another round. Mm -mm. No. No. I'm pitching and it's not making noises. <laughs> uh, that is pretty funny, though. I think that's pretty fun. Yeah. That's not a bad I, little I, baseball you know what? game, it, actually. It, it requires um, a bit of anticipation. Like, you don't know... I, well, you can if you're if you're cheating a little, you can see the joystick. It depends yeah. on, on, how, on you what need you're to put playing up a with. Barrier, but a um, pillow barrier. I yeah, think. but but you're trying to anticipate the next move, which makes it a much more fun, kind of interesting game to play. Because yeah, you're, you're you trying can, to anticipate. Okay, are they going to play mind games? Slow, like, fast, high, low. Like what did they do the last? You know, the last pitch, and yeah. so um, yeah, it's a nice game. I like it. I like great, it. It's great. It's great graphics. Fun. And it's a nice one-on-one -on -one game. You've got all the information on the screen. Yeah. Like the score, the the strikes, the balls, the outs, the inning. You can switch to the... You can't do it now because game's over. You can switch to the outfield, see where the players are on the bases. It's got absolutely everything. It's really, really good. Um, he could even put it there. Oh, there's some extra lines there. Mm. Um, about just below the scores, like, like first say a second third base little dots or something or empty maybe could have done that to, to keep it all on one screen but it's kind of neat to kind of switch and look at the outfield mm -hmm. um yeah that's that's uh recommended how many kilobytes was that one it was i think eight it's pretty good for eight um with the graphics that are going on if it was eight let's see no it's 16 that makes more sense mm -hmm be a lot to pack into eight yeah because he has the out draw the outfield the it's a lot of calculations going on mm. as well a lot of different moves a lot of different graphics and words on the screen two separate screens yep mm -hmm. quick and fun hard to do a baseball game that fast but it's a good way to narrow it down to the best, to the best part, part yeah. make it feel like a game yeah it feels like a game and between two people it's fun and it's like it's a it's, little rivalry and it's, it's actually nice. fast too, it is fast because you don't have to do the running and the catching because if you've ever sat through a baseball game mm. that's scoreless Torturous. i mean you know how long that can take <laughs> yeah. so um 
uh, yeah, no, that was that was fun. Uh, mm -hmm. The only shame is that we both uh, we tied in the end. But oh, <laughs> there's no extra okay. innings, but that's all right. So, yeah, um, that's all right. fun little group of games. That's why I pick five because they're all small. Yeah. Kind of quick games. Except for this one. Yeah. This one's a bit bigger and a little bit longer. This is a good one for um, our marathon, the next marathon we have, because it it's be. multiple play people playing. You so. can even, even if you have four people, you can switch yeah. off too. Mm. It's like, oh, two of us are on the blue team, one is on the red. You could even have it with three people, mm -hmm. having two people on the red team and one on the blue. So you can play with any number of people. Yeah, because technically, even as a one player game. technically, you could switch off for every strikeout. So. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, so so you could, oh, okay, three strikes, you're out. Okay, hand it over to the next person. That was all five? That went fast? Yeah. Uh, it's two hours. <laughs> it's it's on the smaller end of a show Well, length. they were all very short games. They were yeah. one-level games. Yeah. So, yeah, I can see why you put five. I was like, we're playing five games? We're going to be here till midnight. No, but no, no, they're all very, very little, short, fast. So, Mr. Yo-Yo, very fun. Yeah, I, I think there's... It's not done yet. It, but there's some good concepts there. It's very and it's solid very concept. challenging in, little, in places. I, I, I'm sure a little bit more... Um, I think some game balancing playing needs would to make happen. it easier. But, yeah, it's easier in the beginning, and then it ramps up a little too fast. Really hard. But he also yeah. said that he wanted it to slowly speed up. So having all the sprites or all the bad guys on the screen be a little slower for yes. the first few few levels yeah. might actually make it easier overall I and so you so. can progress a little bit more yeah um but it it was fun I enjoyed yeah it. yeah it's it a really a good, good seed of a game i think it's gonna yeah. be really good once he gets these that, concepts though. i don't know where people come up with these concepts like oh yeah, yeah it's a yo-yo man and and he has to dodge gray blobs and fish like <laughs> and it's get notes it's, on the bottom I, of the screen and notes on the bottom of the screen it's like a little a little out there but uh, yeah I it like is it. yeah great games great show yeah what about the cats great, yeah great cats. where's the black and white cat by the way i don't know this one stuck he's with us the whole show oh you're calling now we have zero cats went down from one to zero in the in the pursuit of two cats so let's take a look at what's coming up in the next little bit while she's away. Danya! I want, I want my, my pixel book. We've lost all the cats now. I know, I'm so sorry. I um, distracted them. Yes, volume yes. three of Arena Foot's book is out. Yeah. Um, and I have a foreword in it. And the Christmas book too, right? And in the Christmas book yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, explaining what homebrew is. Hopefully I gave a decent definition. Yeah. Wouldn't mind rewriting it a bit. Some awkward sentences in there. A little bit of run on and a little mm -hmm. bit of ang ambiguity of of what I'm talking about, but it's, it's still pretty good. Um, thank you for including that in volume three, Arena Foot. Um, so the second game we played, Beer Pong. I think that's a great game, but the game, the it is fun. The yeah. balance of difficulty is a little off, I find. Again, also good for hard. the marathon show, but maybe towards the end. <laughs> I actually said that. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> in fun. his thread that yeah. we would be doing it for a marathon. Yeah. Yep. at the end of it that yeah. exact thing yeah and we would take real drinks maybe <laughs> well, well, <laughs> we'll see about that but. um but i think it's a little too easy and a little too hard because the as soon as i switch impairment is it maybe a little too hard um the other part's not bad like if both people are equal it, i suppose fine. if you're practicing it it would get easier but it it seems like it goes from from doable to not doable really quickly mm -hmm. so maybe that needs to just ease in a little bit but it's good yeah. and it's a very good concept the the impairment factor is a really so hard but it's such a smart idea to add into that game because oh, otherwise you're just you're just aiming balls right yeah yeah so you're actually leveling it up so that was really good yeah not much to say about George 2007, yeah. George 2019. I wish he continued George 2007, the platformer. <laughs> well, the but, mountain of poop. <laughs> yep. But that's way gone. It's 12 years yeah. ago and he didn't add to it. And he's on to a thousand other games. Mm -hmm. 2019, uh, the concept is fine. You're on a path. It's not much to it. Mm. I don't know what to add to it to make it better or more. You would just mm. do another path on the next one smaller path i guess mm. yeah I, I like the 2007 better 
Oh know? yeah, because yeah, yeah. And having different mazes and different obstacles to yeah. jump on. I, yeah. the it's one, very simplistic. It, yeah. it it is, and and something about the jumping function is a little it's a little off. Little off. <laughs> it's a little so. too fast and a not high enough. Yeah, and it yeah. just feels a little bit off. Yeah. One versus one baseball. I'm Excellent. perfect. I, you know what? And I think it looks really good too. I think it's a it's really gorgeous. So, so this was just done, just released in the new year. Like just, just, just. Yeah. He yeah. spent two weeks in public working on it. Yeah. Um, polishing it up. And then he was like done, but really what is left? There's nothing really to add. He's got it all there. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can maybe, I don't know, make the bat a little bit longer on the thick part. <laughs> That's about it. Um, but the graphics are really good. The playability is excellent. It's got two player. It's got a versus AI part of it. Mm -hmm. It's great. I don't know what else to add to that. It's great. Uh, definitely on, done on the second day of the first month in 2020. Nice. Yeah. In the backwards American way of doing dates. Oh, that well. That you can't sort. <laughs> that you can't sort. Month, day, year. Well, well is like, there a that Canadian way? There's the world way. And then What's the world American, way? Uh, year, month, day. So yeah. you can sort them. Yeah. So they're all in order when you that's, sort them. That's my organization that's standard. The ISO year, month, way day. of doing it. Yeah, well, that's probably why. Yeah. yeah. Um, Interesting. Because, you know, if you put it in a spreadsheet, if you put it in a text editor, you can sort that. Mm. Because it'll go, oh, 2018, 2019, 2020. Mm. First month, second month, third month. First day, second day, third day. If you do it like that, mm -hmm. if you type it in like that, and you have multiple years, it's going to sort all the Januaries first. Yeah. And yeah. then it's going to do all the January firsts Monday. first. Yeah. And then it'll do the year. ISO 8601. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, Repentless VG. Month, day, month, day. Yeah, I don't get the month, day, year. I don't get that at all. Year, yeah. month, day. Or it's because it comes day, from, month, year, but it's just, it's just, yeah, it's I don't know. It's because it comes from the spoken way of saying it. January 1st, yeah, 2020. Yeah, that's, tr that's true, that's true. So they went, oh, let's type it that way. Yeah. And then computers yeah. came around. Yeah. And yeah, computers didn't like it at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or text sorting didn't like it at all. But anyway, um, some good games, mm -hmm. mixed bag today. Mm -hmm. Some great games, some, some games that could be improved mm -hmm. or added to. But always fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so very good. Next episode, we're going to be playing Steam Tunnel Bob, Pressure Gauge, and Pressure Gauge Two, mm. and a mystery game that I haven't determined yet. That'll be on Wednesday with Erilyn Wednesday. again. Okay. And uh, then the one after that, the Friday with you again, is going to be unless Darcy wants to come up a, a week early or something. But Maybe. yeah. It'll probably be me. <laughs> um, we're going to be announcing the nominees. Oh, yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to do that. That sounds like <laughs> You're like nope, Darcy's yeah. not coming. No, change my mind. No, do I do I get to dress up for that or no? Is it, it's no. just a regular show. And then we'll be playing playing the nominees. <laughs> oh, cool. So okay. It'll be yeah. The best of 2019. Nice. Show See, that's really for, cool for three shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, encompasses yeah. you. Caroline and Darcy. Oh, so you do get everyone Three in shows. There. Okay. Yeah. And then you're skipping the one right before the Homebrew Awards, right? A couple. The Friday? A couple. And the Wednesday or? I don't know. Whatever yeah. works out to. I think definitely the Friday. No, it's already on this. It's already on there. I know. Yeah. It's definitely the Friday. I think it's just oh, the Friday. It, no, it's not just the Friday. Really? It's the Wednesday. So the 24th is the last show before the awards. Gotcha. So okay. the Friday and the Wednesday and the Friday. Okay. So it's good gets, to good to clarify because I know there's a lot of pre preparation that you a need lot to of do. setup yeah a lot of paperwork yeah a lot of graphics a lot of video yeah paperwork um, <laughs> yeah contacting the winners. oh that's true that's true so I can get them on the stream yeah uh, printing out a ton of stuff compiling the lists doing mm -hmm. the voting so much lots mm -hmm. and lots mm -hmm. it's paperwork <laughs> it's not actual paper mm -hmm. but. Um, Oh, thank you very much. Great show, Arena Foot. Great show. Great games. Oh, zero point uh, zero page homebrew Twitch stream. Thank you, Arena Foot. That is the list of what we're playing. Mm. Um, and then, of course, this uh, Atari Homebrew Awards on mm. February first. And we will be dressed up for that. <laughs> yeah. Against a green screen. <laughs> yes. Lots of fancy video. Yeah. Lots of call-ins. Um, we'll get uh, Arena Foot to call in. Yeah. Maybe again. Excellent. We'll get maybe yeah. Al. Yeah, to call in. That would be nice. Get all yeah. the, the sponsors. Mm -hmm. And um, the winners. 
call in as well. Mm -hmm. If they're available, absolutely. Yes. If they're available, either by video, audio. Yeah. Or they can they can written. send a statement if they're not. Um, we, had a, we had a bunch of statements last year. Yeah, not yeah. everyone wants to be on camera, and I totally. Or understand they're not that. available too. Yeah, that too. They it might yeah. be working or something. Yeah. Wonder if my game is in. Mm -hmm. It's up to the voters. <laughs> up, to, up to the nomination committee. Yeah. That's why it, it's it's very fair. Yeah. It's not one person deciding. Yeah, it's a number. It's people. a number of people deciding, and then another number of people, people deciding. So it's yeah. all, yeah. not me. <laughs> so you can't blame me. Or anything yeah. or any one person it's it's a big committee yeah. mystery game next week could be jack and the beanstalk nice. that is a possibility i could mm. i could uh, slot that in so i will remember that one um or it could be a new one because people put out new work in progress updates or just come out with a new game all of a yeah. sudden that's why i try and keep at least one slot open till very Something last free. second yeah 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 and no, especially since cool. it's going to be like the last show for weeks <laughs> you're like oh my god yeah you want but then we come back out. and it'll be uh it'll be a bunch more games yeah, yeah nice um maybe that'll give me enough time to finish off dion's interview it's just been oh hectic. yeah you're still working on that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. not actively but uh, no no i know it's still... and there's there's non -ho zero page homebrew stuff you've been yeah. working a lot on which is yeah. has, has been a bit out of your, your control so the link is in the chat james or my list yes, yes. thank you very nice. much for yeah. the jack and the beanstalk nice um and uh thank you everybody for tuning in let's take a look at uh who actually was chatting today a lot of people chatting arena foot cafe man 2d down abc. abc repentless vg yes rc 70 i want to see cat photos someone has to post cat photos spartan somewhere. 581 just yeah. random cats okay no 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 he just he got a new cat <laughs> i know ground trooper 11 weeks mick muse uh lem mcallister very nice yep uh, Spartan five eight one already. Oh, VHZC dropped in. Thank you for yeah, making yeah. those games. He commented on his shirt. Oh, did he? I missed yes. that. Yes. Very nice. Not Ice. Paying attention. Ice Bosta. I must have been playing during that <laughs> you time. You were, yeah. <laughs> uh, who else? Thank you, RC seventy. <laughs> Was chatting. Nope, that's it. Uh, I'll get some pit picks. Cat picks. Cat yes. picks. Yes. 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 Uh, I'll post. Well, I don't know where I would post them, but um, pictures of pixel when he was young was they were oh. they were pretty pretty darn cute so cute yeah, yeah. well yeah mm -hmm. um you can put in the the our, our a zero page instagram <laughs> sure pictures of cats yeah. <laughs> um imager mm -hmm. yeah just mm -hmm. an imager link mm -hmm. i can send rabbit pics oh mm -hmm. you have rabbits oh i think i you had told a rabbit that growing once. up that's awesome yeah i had a rabbit too not as a pet though <laughs> unfortunately my yep. parents had a rabbit we did pet it though it was cute i was gonna say yeah it's a problem when you're out in the uh, out in the Woods. farm in the yep. country um yeah no I, I i we inherited a rabbit from a friends who were naughty and didn't take care of it. so what happened was my mom her friend had american two, blue rabbit I wonder what that looks like. had two teenage kids and the daughter i think desperately wanted a rabbit and uh she got a rabbit not just for easter and then they stopped uh they basically you know after a week had passed had stopped kind of uh taking care of it oh, so no. the mom got really upset and gave the rabbit to us so we had a rabbit and she um snowball was white with little little brown ears and it took them three weeks to notice the rabbit wasn't there Definitely so they said sorry it. yeah you're not getting the rabbit back so we had snowball for a few years oh, snowball was a really sweet there's an, an american blue rabbit oh like gray blue yeah kind of the same color as atari atari has a bit of kind of a gray blue look is... rabbits that won't eat carrots bugs bunnies a lot oh there you go yeah there's some yeah. uh bunnies Aww. some american blue bunnies for american everybody blue. merlin three-year-old oh yeah that's very cute i love i love we have I a gray cat little, little cats cats pets in yeah. general yeah they're all sweet rabbits are bitey I think most they can be, most but pets, they're pretty sweet most of the time. Um, like rodents, very bitey. Rabbits you, are very bitey. You had you had rats at one point, right? Rats and also chinchillas. Oh my god, so bitey! Because yeah. rodents, their teeth keep growing. Yeah, they have to keep gnawing on Do things. Rabbits yeah. are like that too. Yeah, their teeth keep growing. Uh, yes, they so, have to gnaw on things. Yeah, yeah. Not great pets in that line, that realm of yeah. things, because your wires are just destroyed. Oh yeah, chinchillas to, are so cute soft they're, oh. they're like that big but that fluffy 
So you have to, you touch them, they go, Mrrr. they're literally the softest things I've ever touched in my life. Mm -hmm. So soft. Merlin loves carrots, cilantro, and banana. Ah, I guess they like so Sprite. Cute. We'll try that next. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for Carboard now. Cardboard, hay, yeah. pellets, yes. wood. <laughs> yeah wire yeah <laughs> anything wicker wicker, wicker chairs yeah. you got to be careful around those um yep yeah. yeah, i think that's it done all the stuff done all the stuff talking S about pets said, now yep said bye to everyone yeah so we will see you next uh wednesday with erlen yes we'll be back with some more games yeah. and i'll try and work on my atari this weekend I can't guarantee because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I hope it. I hope you can get it to work. I mean, you have another system, but you'd have to mod it, wouldn't you? Yeah, it, it's not. It would be square one. But can is it is modding it really really difficult or not a composite? A composite mod is easy. The mod I have is quite involved. It's RGB, a, right? Yeah, it's a lot of wires, mm. and also I don't have another one, and mm. it comes from Australia, mm. and it takes weeks to come here, and it's very expensive. But can you not do that yourself, or you basically have to get someone to do it for you? did it and it was very challenging he to, did it he actually did he it. he did it for me yeah. oh i was okay. there oh but you got the components and, and darcy did it darcy did it okay yeah. um you have to desolder yeah. a chip in the one on mine anyway yeah like and that, that had like scary. Yeah. 32 pins and then oh, oh it's God. a lot of work revive the vcs yeah. yes david yes david <laughs> will be back on wednesday <laughs> erlen yeah that's funny it's very funny yeah Somebody, uh, you can see on my Instagram right now, Instagram story. Mm. Um, somebody went to Starbucks and asked for David on their cup, yeah, and posted it on their Instagram yeah, and funny. told me about it. So I posted that as a story, yeah, on the zero page homebrew Instagram. If you want to go see it, there, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember sweating really hard modding my original PS, yeah, yeah, it's just it's it's above my pay grade, um, <laughs> modding a modding an atari 2600 i could do it a composite because it's like two wires or something it's not so bad it just hooks into the what? but but can you well will composite work on a on a composite's so gross <laughs> it's so uh, messy yeah s video is a little bit better rgb is the best is the best yeah 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 it's the best analog you're going to get out of mm. it and it looks really good like the one i have it does i hope you can fix it oh, I, I hope can. you can figure it out i i may not be able to but it is fixable the power coming in yeah. is the right amount. It gets onto the board, but it just doesn't make it there are... all the way. So I have to find where it's yeah. going away. And I just don't know how to trace the power well enough. That's all. There was a guy, but I don't think he's there anymore, like on, on Main Street in Vancouver, who used to fix old appliances. Would someone like right. that be helpful or no? I just, no. I don't want to give it to a random dude. Yeah, but it's someone who knows old... who knows how to solder and yeah i don't know we i gave i'm just our, throwing out ideas remember we <laughs> took our vacuum in no but that was a different guy that was something I know, completely it's a different separate. guy yeah but he, he destroyed the vacuum yeah he did yeah and the true. problem wasn't even the vacuum it was <sighs> it was the yeah he no, it's terrible anyway he destroyed the vacuum and the, the vacuum wasn't even malfunctioning it was the hose yeah the part that connected to the vacuum yeah so it's still broken yeah <laughs> after we bought a new vacuum mm -hmm. anyway, it, yeah that's rum with a head on it no no it is it it's is rum? yeah it's got um um i buy a syrup that's raspberry mint so i think that's what's making it right yeah. okay we're out of here it's devolved <laughs> into nothingness um we will set, see you next week hopefully darcy won't be marooned on the island can help you when he makes it back it'll yeah be two weeks. he'll be back sometimes it'll soon. be two weeks though yeah so that's terrible. Yeah, you can always you can you can convince him back. I think uh, maybe next weekend. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Okay. Have a good right night. Here. Have a good Bye. weekend, everyone. We'll see you on Wednesday. Yeah. Bye. -bye. <laughs>